Welcome back to News 46. Statins are a common medication used to lower LDL or bad cholesterol levels. However, for some patients, statins alone aren't enough. Last year, a new type of medication known as PCSK9 inhibitors became available for use along with statins. Although effective, these drugs are very expensive. A new study evaluated the cost effectiveness of this therapy and how increased use might affect the U.S. health care system. This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment. 775-751-7100. Millions of people struggle to lower their LDL or bad cholesterol. A new type of therapy called a PCSK9 inhibitor can help reduce LDL or bad cholesterol by nearly 50%. They block a specific enzyme in the cholesterol pathway. In doing so, they increase the removal of LDL cholesterol from the blood into the liver and lower LDL cholesterol levels. They were approved to be used um, for individuals who are at higher risk for heart disease, who have had a heart attack, a stroke, or who have a family history of very high cholesterol. These drugs were approved to be used um, in addition to the statin medications in these particular individuals. Doctors Kirsten Bibbins Domingo, Andrew Vkazi from the University of California, San Francisco, and their co-authors examined the cost effectiveness of PCSK9 inhibitors and their potential effect on U.S. healthcare spending. Using a simulation model that included all U.S. adults age 35 and older, they evaluated outcomes like expected number of deaths due to cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, and strokes, and balanced this with the cost and potential benefits of these drugs. The authors estimated that about 9 million people would be eligible for this therapy. This innovation comes at a price. They were launched at a little over $14,000 per patient per year. It would increase our total expenditure on prescription drugs by almost 40%. All healthcare expenses would go up 4%, and that's a large increase in our total U.S. healthcare expense based on one set of drugs alone. Our analysis suggests that that price tag should be closer to just over $4,000 a year for them to be cost effective. Should that not happen, we would expect to see an unprecedented strain on health system budgets across the country. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report. The PCSK9 inhibitors would also help a small portion of patients who were unable to take statins to lower their bad cholesterol. A federal judge in Texas has issued a nationwide injunction barring federal agencies from taking action against school districts that don't follow the Obama administration's guidance on transgender bathroom policies in schools. The judge granted a preliminary injunction sought by Texas and several other states challenging the Obama administration's interpretation of Title IX, which prohibits sex discrimination in schools, colleges, and universities. The administration interprets Title IX to include discrimination based on gender identity. Supporters of the LGBT rights say the administration's guidance was necessary to ensure that transgender students are able to use the bathroom that corresponds with their gender identity. Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue crews were called to an accident in regards to a rider on a moped on Homestead Road in front of the Pleasant Valley subdivision Saturday evening around 7.15. The rider was conscious on scene. Fire Chief Scott Lewis explains. We just passed a report of a scooter versus a vehicle. Upon arrival, found that a scooter was in fact impacted by a vehicle. However, the patient wasn't severely injured and declined to be transported to a local hospital. Where was this? I believe it, the uh, accident location was Homestead and Kellogg. And then anybody inside the vehicle injured? There were no additional injuries. Do you know how the accident occurred? No, it was actually under investigation by NCSO. And emergency crews were called to a fire on BLM land around 10.30 on Friday night. The crews responded to the area of Gamebird and Winchester. As crews approached the scene, it was reported that vehicles could be seen fleeing the BLM land. Here's Fire Chief Scott Lewis. Dispatch report of an unknown type fire on BLM land just south of Gamebird Road. Crews arrived on location and found a fire out in the Mesquite Grove, approximately half a mile from Gamebird down south on, on BLM land. Crews investigated found a mesquite grove that was, it looked like it had maybe started by a, a campfire that was set. Numerous vehicles observed leaving the scene. NCSO was tracing that down as far as who those occupants of those vehicles may have been. Crews made short order of the extinguishing of the ground cover. 
And when we return, a miracle drug has helped a local man get back his life.